All right. So what were we doing? Did I finish all of the stuff here? I don't know if... Oh, oh wait, this is gold saucer. Oh, that's right, because I got the... I got the... Uh, what was it? I got the membership at the gold saucer. But I don't remember... What I'm supposed to do <laughs> for the plot. Need to get a cord so it's attached to your pants and don't fall over. <laughs> I do. And I have like one of those baby, like those baby like backpacks and just attach my <laughs> phone to it. Like a little harness for my phone. Yeah, where, where am I supposed to go? Hold on. I am Shadow the Hedgehog. I forgot that's what I named him. Okay, I think I'll put Barret in. So let me get rid of Yuffie's stuff. Yuffie. Do you think. Do you ever wonder if people call her Yuffie? <laughs> like, I've, only, I've, I've always known her as Yuffie because I play Kingdom Hearts. But shout out to whoever played this back in the day and called her Yuffie. I see you. Okay, let me see. Heavy Vulcan or enemy launcher. That's got more material, but this has two. I'll just equip that. Let's do. Actually, let's see. Let's do all. All lightning. Do I have another blue one? I do not. Okay. I'll put Ifrit. Steel. Aw, uh, let's see. Time. Maybe seal? I don't know. And Ramu. Ramu. Is it Ramu? Oh wait, did I put... Okay, let me check his... Is this good for him? Oh wait, look, 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 look. Carbon bangle. Oh shit. Yeah, put remove back on. Silver glasses, yeah, that's fine. It's remove? Okay. Do you got any idea where I'm supposed to go? <laughs> I think I finally got voice in 14 and that's what they say. Oh wait, is this a dragon? No, this does not look like a dragon. This is a Chimera. This is Kasane Teto. Wait, it is? Go back to the area with the mansion and leave the other way. Oh, okay. I don't remember if you went to Fort Condor last stream. I did not. But thank you for the hydrate, Twy. <clears throat> thank you for take a moment. And then go to the city. Don't like go to the mansion. Oh, okay. Neurodivergent, and I know already that I'm definitely neurodivergent because I've been diagnosed with like the highest degree of depression diagnosable and diagnosed with PTSD and all that. But like, like this video itself was talking about uh, if I have ADHD, and I was watching the video, and I think I had like 20 points, and I got 16 out of 20. And especially the the sensory thing in the video that she was talking about. I, 
was just like, oh, that's me. Like, I'm having a problem with this Reese's just because of the sensory, because of a sensory issue. Because I hate, I hate the hard chunks of the chips in the Reese's. It makes it so difficult to chew. Anyway, sorry. Is it this way? I know I went to the golden saucer because I got my I got my lifetime membership. Which was probably a waste of money. Oh, it's through Cosmo Candy. Oh I think I think it's this way. Cause that that one destroyed building looking thing was me Gaga. So I think if I there should be like a water thing nearby, right? Do you want Cloud's Limit Break? A yeah, waste of money. Oh, oh. Is Cloud's Limit Break through Golden Saucer? Yes? They made Cloud the main character of Final Fantasy VII's Limit Break? Be only obtainable through mini games? I'm shocked. Big shot, big shot, be a big shot. Summon Odin. Get your ass to the battle square and grind. I was actually thinking of grinding at the at the Golden Saucer before streaming today, but then I wound up going outside. Yikes. Maybe I have to uh, a stream of just playing Battle Square. Look at this dude, he's so cool. Was the Final Fantasy 13 Odin based off of the Final Fantasy 7 Odin? So you automatically get it at the end of the game for like one fight. Oh really? So it doesn't it doesn't take that long to get it. If you want to use it normally, you have to grind. Ah, okay. Hey yo, what is this? This metabots? I did not see that dude. Emery from Sonic Battle for the Game Boy Advance. Oh, oh, Emerald? Emerald is dead. <laughs> Was Sonic Battle the... Oh, wait, no. I'm thinking of the DS game. I remember hearing about this one Sonic DS game that, like, looks terrible, but the story for it is amazing. Sonic Battle is GBA. What, what's the... Dark Brotherhood, I think it was that, yeah, the RPG. Like, I remember I watched a few videos on it, and I was like, oh, that looks terrible. <laughs> the UI looks terrible. The music sounds terrible. But the story sounds good. The worst of all time OST. <laughs> Sonic Chronicles is fun, change my view. Yeah, I kind of want to play Sonic Chronicles. I kind of do. Like, it, it sounds interesting to me. Hold up, take a moment. Sample, okay. Hold on. Let me see, I'll, I'll listen to this. I have definitely heard this somewhere. I have heard this somewhere. I have heard this somewhere. Th th this is not a Sonic Chronicles original, is it? This sounds like something from Rugrats, Angelica's, the one Angelica Game Boy game. More Sonics are fun, even 06, just that the scope of fun changes from game to game. Sonic Forces, well, no. I, I feel like Sonic Forces 
would be palatable if they gave it like another year to cook. Who let him cook? This is from the game. I swear I've heard this in another game. Hold on. Look at the top comment, Elio. Let me see. Hidden talent right there. Keep it hidden. <laughs> okay, hold on. What was it called? Totally Angelica. This reminds me of the mall music from Totally Angelica. OST. GBA. Child stare. Okay. This is this is shopping mall music from Totally Angelica. I, I have a very vivid like memory of the song sounding like this part, this part, this part. You listen to this part? Keep this part in your mind. Keep this part in your mind. This part. You got it in your brain right now? I'm gonna play the mall music from Totally Angelica. Wait, that's the PS1 OST. Maybe the PS1 OST is the same. No, that is not, that is not the same as the GBA version. Where is the GBA OST? Where is the GBA version? You mean to say you guys kept the PS1 version, but not the Game Boy? Hold on. Okay, maybe my memory of it was, maybe my memory of it wasn't that good. Maybe it was like when you play a, a mini game. Maybe it was that. I don't know, I can kind of hear it. I can kind of hear it. THQ. No, what was the mini games? What was the mini games? Okay. Here's a mini game. Here's a mini game. What was the fashion show one? Oh, maybe it was the cat one. Yeah, this. It sounds like this to me. It sounded like this song to me. This is like the cat, the cat yarn maze from Totally Angelica. I played this game so much. It was like the first video game I ever owned. It sucked. But children make do. For me, it's Rugrats PS1 mini golf. <laughs> I, I liked the I liked the Windows Rugrats game. Um, what was it called? It was like the detective one. Detective Rugrats. I liked that one. I was just staring off into fucking space. Yeah, Rugrats Mystery Adventures. That was a good game. Welcome back, Detective Coden. No Rugrats. Man, I really want to play that Rugrats game. Maybe I should play Rugrats on stream. That would be quite the successful game for my career. I think. Maybe, maybe not. I did, I did download a... Uh, do I still have it? I think I downloaded it because I wanted to stream it. Like one night, just randomly I was like, huh, wouldn't that be funny if I played that game just randomly one day? Do I still have it downloaded? I downloaded it a while ago. I might have gotten rid of it. I still have Dumori? Get that out of here. I see Minecraft. Did I get rid of it? I mean, I could always play Pajama Sam. I have Pajama Sam on Steam. Damn, I must have got rid of it. I've never played Rug Mouse games. Never played a Rugrats game. What is wrong with you? I am going to play. 
I'm gonna play Rugrats Mystery Adventure. You'll know what a good game is after Rugrats Mystery Adventure. Oi, I was born different, all right. <laughs> Rugrats is a good way to refer to babies. <laughs> yeah, he's a little rug rat. Oh, are these the dragons? No, okay. You will know, okay. But yeah, Rogax was good. I liked that show a lot. All Grown Up sucked though. But Rogax was one of my favorite cartoons growing up. I think I had, I think I had, what was the dinosaur's name? Uh, does anyone remember what the dinosaur's name was? That like had chocolate bars and stuff? Raptor, Reptar, yeah, Reptar. I had a Reptar plushie when I was a little baby. And I was a Rugrat. I played the shit out of Totally Angelica. That was like the first Game Boy game I had. Other than, I think Final Fantasy Tactics Advanced was my first Game Boy game. Or no, no, no. I had a Game Boy Color before I got Game Boy Advance. Okay, so I think the first game I actually had was Totally Angelica. And then I had Pokemon Yellow. I don't remember what other like Game Boy Color games I had. Lay flat, what are you doing? I remember playing the PS1 Rugrats game a lot. I, I remember I had a PS1 Rugrats game and I brought it to my uh, my babysitters because I didn't have a I didn't have a PS1. I, I didn't have a PS1 or a PS2 at the time, so I would bring it over to my babysitter's house so I could play it. I did not mean to heal Aerith. I meant to heal baby girl, but it's okay. Baby girl will live. Baby girls make do. I'm pretty sure I have watched it in French. It's a miracle I remember. <laughs> yeah, Rugrats is great. I forgot who my favorite character was. I think I was just a Tommy Pickles stan, honestly. I think I just really liked Tommy Pickles. Check Barrett for new limit break. You got something? Oh, okay. Maybe that new sword. Oh, okay. I keep forgetting to check my limit breaks. Let me check everyone's. Okay, I have Meteor Rain. And what's my... Let's do Planet Protector. Oh, he's got grenade bomb. Grenade. I don't know why I feel so feral today. I feel like I'm, I'm acting a bit feraler than usual. There's something wrong with me. Maybe it's that I went outside. I think going outside makes me worse. <laughs> I remember liking one of Barrett's third limit breaks. Better overall with double materia growth, but no linkies. <laughs> I know what is wrong with you. You gave DVC a 2 out of 10. I'll be honest, I did not... I did not enjoy watching Dragon Ball. 
I remember I, I've watched quite a lot of it. I just could not get into Dragon Ball. But honestly, it was probably just because I was a kid. Like, I feel like the last time I watched DBZ was when I was like 13. And I was very much that kind of anime fan that was like, there's gotta be pretty boys in this or I won't watch it. <laughs> oh God, that's a lot. Can't do that on everyone. Let's go with ice too. I'll use my enemy skill. Hello, Elio. Hope you're having a good day. Oh, hi there, Brian. Yeah, today's going pretty good. How's it going for you? Cloud's new sword looks like a fan to me. I don't know why. Wait, DB or DBZ? Oh, uh, not gonna lie. DBZ is more nostalgia trip than anything. Oh. Well, if you don't like repetitiveness, then it's fair to not like DBZ. It was DBZ. I watched DBZ, not not DB. And I also think that was another problem, I think, is like, I, I could never really get into a lot of Shonen because I, I like, I do not have like the, what do you call it? Oh God, we got, Got pipe mazes. Oh, it's this one. It is this one. It's this guy, isn't it? Fat fuck. Oh, hey, I learned flamethrower. Let's go. Ooh. Let's get Shiva up in here. Not bad, but I wouldn't watch that many episodes again, yeah. I can never get into shonen that have like a hundred plus episodes. Actually, I think as a kid I was a bit more, uh, what's the word? Um, I think I put up with it more than I do now. Cause I'm like, if I see an anime that's longer than like 25 episodes, I'm just like, bro, I do not have the time for this. Goku is the Superman for anime fans. Feel sacrilegious to read it so long. <laughs> I don't even like Superman. I was a Spider-Man fan. Which is very funny when you consider how I don't like spiders. <laughs> oh god. He's dead. Fuck! When will the masses realize that a main character screaming his lungs out and getting a new transformation is the hypest shit ever? And peak fiction. Yeah, nice new its characters writing more on. Now check this out. You will enjoy dot hack GU when I get to it then, Leonix. Let me just say. That game has a lot of the main character screaming and getting new power-ups. Taker, are you included the episodes after the Sasuke retrieval arc? <laughs> Day's been good. I had a Fire Emblem comic commission that I'm gonna dub very soon. Oh, oh, nice. Good luck, good luck. Wait, what Fire Emblem game is it? Oh, dang. What does this do? Planet Protecto. I feel like DBZ is more forgiving on having a hundred plus episodes because one, we come in for the fights, not the plot. Two, there's a narrator that'll catch you up on what the fuck is going on at the beginning of the episode anyways. That's true. So thank you for the hep hats and the hydrate, 5Q. Okay. What was that skill? I noticed I got zero damage. And I inflicted like a ton of damage. What was that? 
What is the skill? Haste to Cloud's limit break. Uh, Aerith's. Aerith's uh, limit break. Bennett Protector grants temporary. Oh, invincibility. Oh, wow. Peerless status makes characters immune to all physical and magical attacks for a short time and effectively works as a resist status regarding status attributes, locking any previous statuses in and preventing the application of new ones. The status also gives immunity against MP remove attacks. Oh, damn. Uh, the comic is revolving around the fourth Fire Emblem genealogy of the Holy War, the one with Sigurd and Stellar. Ooh, I'm looking forward to it. That reminded me, I actually commissioned uh, art from a kind of popular, at least in my opinion, because I've been following them for a while, uh, Fire Emblem artist. They do like a lot of uh, Ime Josi uh, art because they really like Mark. How do I go back up? Who is that? I don't like that. I don't like. I don't like that. I don't like it. <laughs> Physically, Aerith is too powerful. Huh? Hold up. You mean Maji? I think. I think that's their name. They do Marth and. Uh, was it? Forgot what her name is. Erica. They like ship them with uh, Martha and Erica, I think. <laughs> yeah, most Naruto except filler are really well built. Like all until the end of the Naruto Sasuke fight is great. Maji does Martha and Erica. Yes, yes, yes. I I commissioned them recently for uh, a chibi, and they are like the nicest person ever. <laughs> They, they said I was the nicest person ever, and I was like, what the fuck? No, no, you're the nicest person ever. What are you talking about? They're so nice. Like, I, I asked for like a chibi, and I was like, my, my character has like three hairstyles, so feel free to just choose whichever one you, you feel more like doing. And then they're like, I will draw all three of them. <laughs> and I'm like, what? Erica, why Erica? He has a wife. Shippers don't care. They'll ship whatever. Yeah, and it's Yume Joshi. So it's it's shipping themselves with the character. That's like that's like me. That's like me drawing art of me kissing kite. Maybe I should commission Maji for art of me kissing kite. I kind of want that. Um, I get embarrassed. With like Yume Joshi stuff. <laughs> like a part of me wants to do Yume Joshi stuff. Of Kite, specifically. I feel like Kite is the only character I've ever like got in Yume Joshi. Oh, oh, no, that's a lie. That was a straight face lie. I have gotten Yume Joshi about Misane. <laughs> but what is that thing? You guys see that? So true, they're very kind. Oh my god, so excited to see you commissioned by Maji. Heck yeah, I'll be sure to share it once it's done. It's so cute. Shippuden also has a lot of filler, but the filler that annoys me most is towards the end when the manga was already completed. Ah, uh, I'll never stop being mad about that. <laughs> We gotta make more episodes! We gotta get the Shippuden box! What was the one arc that was like the island? That is a boss. There's other stuff around here. Yeah, I was trying to go back up. I was trying to go back up through the pipes, but... And I was talking about like, uh, I don't know if you get... Yeah, you guys can't see my mouse. Okay, you see how I'm in front of like a penis rock? Um, like about, not quite the halfway, closer to the tip. There's like a little circular thing. What is that? Is that just a graphical glitch? 
There's a weapon for Vincent here that never misses that makes death blow good. Ooh. At the firm belief that the video Shrek is love gave brain rot to an entire generation. <laughs> yeah, how do I go back up? I think it might be a glitch. Oh, okay. Ah! <laughs> Thank you for that for helping Vince, Rio! Oh my god! Thank you, you cute flippin' floppin' bunny ear head ass precious bean bun bun looking munchkin you. <laughs> Hello Rio, thank you so much. Here, I'll I'll give you some I'll give you some ear flops just for you. <laughs> thank you so much. How are you doing? I'm trying to figure out how to go back up this thingy. Do it. E <laughs> I am confusion. Oh, let me look. I'm good. Just got done playing Omega Strikers for like six hours. I'm addicted. Ooh, what's that game about? Can't I go back through the pipes? Okay. Oh, it's so fun. What is it? Oh, there's this dude again. Yeah, two can play throwing pole or here, dude. I'll just face the whole section since I'm not sure what's up. Okay. It's a 3v3 air hockey game with over... Oh, wait! I think I've seen that game! I think I... Yeah, that game's been out for a bit, right? I think I saw... Um... I, I feel so bad. I forgot their name. Oh... The maid VTuber that I read a lot. Why can't I remember their name? But I think I watched them play that a few times. It looked really fun. It really does look like Overwatch. No oh, Studio Trigger did the opening for it? What? God damn. I need to check it out. Is that, is it free? Is it like free to play? Should I use Turbo Elixir? I don't know. I I never know whether I should use like items like that. I'm gonna go down to my save point. <laughs> gonna go use a tent. There we go. Yeah, it's free, but you can also buy like skins and emotes and stuff if you want. Ooh. Well, I might just go download that right now. Is it on like Steam or like the Epic Store or something? Yeah, because I've kind of been wanting to play Overwatch, but also kind of not. Having like a new game to play would be nice. barrier. Steam slash switch. Ooh, okay. I'll get it on Steam then. The watch stocks are kinda down right now. Rest in peace. Overwatch PvE. Wait, what? What's going on with Overwatch? Did they do something bad again? I DK if you heard, but Overwatch 2 just canceled their PvE project and a lot of people are uninstalled. Ooh. Yikes. That's a big yikes. Okay, well. Guess I'm not getting Overwatch 2 then. Oh, thank you for subscribing. Bye now. 
Jesus Christ, 32 months. Has it really been that long? <laughs> Thank you. Overwatch 2? More like Overwatch 1 remake. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Yeah, yikes indeed. People are not happy. 32 months, Bun Bun. We out here. Jesus. Why can't you get on the green? This game confuses me so much. On <laughs> what parts are traversable and what parts aren't. Yeah, that's a lot of months. That's like almost three years. Yeah, 12, 24, 36. Yeah, you're just, just four months shy of three years. Jeez. Yeah, four months will be three years. God. I think there's a pipe we're supposed to be able to interact with. Correct, it has been that long, but sometimes it feels like longer. <laughs> That's cray cray saws, yeah. I haven't seen that long. <coughs> God. I noticed you mentioned Baby Girl's new sword looks like a paddle. I can definitely see it all. It reminds me a bit of the Effie Fade style armor. Yeah, it does look like the Armor Slayer sword, now that you say that. You got the Yaoi paddle. Been stuck with me for almost three years and still isn't sick of me. God bless. Also, a Dargan. Big, big Dargan. Yeah, that's a big, big. Should have never gone down that pipe. This is like the start of the Super Mario Bros. movie. Where's the right pipe? Maybe just go south. Okay. So if you can't loop back around. Oh, ho, ho, maybe. Oh, wait. I see a treasure. Oh, do we get it? Bowser's in the garage making World War II models since he's a middle-aged father. Damn, what a deal. And that's just what they do. <laughs> I, I used to like watching uh, like these videos of like old men putting together like the little miniatures in like the little bottle. Like little miniature, like uh, the little boats in the bottles. Something about watching those videos is always so relaxing for me. That and like uh, people that do reviews of like ink pens, like like not just regular like ballpoint pens, but like the ones that have like the silver tip and you like dip it in a little ink blot. It's so relaxing. It is. Yes. Okay. I'm glad I'm not alone in that. Yeah. Model ship building videos. Yeah. Or like like unboxing videos with a lot of the crinkles and stuff. Like I remember, I I've been playing this one game on my phone. Um, and it has a lot of the watch ads to get rewards faster, which I hate, but I still do it anyway. Uh, <laughs> and one of the ads that pops up is like this person unboxing a switch. And like every time I'm just like, I need a moment. This is so... Oh, oh, oh damn, okay. Um, oh, Jesus. Why can't I... Heal. Heal. <laughs> there we go. Okay, how much damage? 
day, I let someone make the Madrigal House in Kanto with arts and crafts, and it was so comfy. Oh yeah, I, there was like this one YouTube channel that I like watching, uh, and they do like little miniature recreations of like Studio Ghibli stuff. Like I saw that they made like a, a house moving castle figure out of like recycled garbage. It was so pretty. God, baby girl's dead, don't worry, he's back. But yeah, and they also did like Animal Crossing little miniatures. Like they did like a. Uh, oh, uh, I can't remember the name of the place. It's the little cafe with the little pigeon guy. The roost, I think? They did like a little miniature of the roost. It was so cute. Was it Stetson Studios? I'm not sure. I don't remember the name. I have to look it up. Alright, now don't don't do fire. Do quake. Naughty. Cause I know they made a house moving castles and spirited away bathhouse thingy. Let me see. I'll look them up. Oh shit, Aerith's dead. Quick use the phoenix down. does not do nearly as much damage as it looks like it does. videos. I, I watched their Howl's Moving Castle and their Chainsaw Man video. And their, their Luigi's Mansion. Yeah, I watched that one too. Yeah, their videos are really good. Yeah, they're amazing. They are. I love how they they take like just, just the randomest things and just make them into like pieces of the building. Like I remember Luigi's Mansion. Like, they use, like, horseshoes and stuff. For, like, little details. It's really cool. Also, thank you for the bless you. Oh. Some materia over here. Elemental. Should I go back? Is this, like, where I'm supposed to go? Did I just, like, cut through the entire dungeon? Sniper CR, what's that? Sniper, 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 sniper. Ah, oh, is that the weapon for Vincent? That's the Vincent weapon, okay. 
Are you supposed to go as past the boss? I thought that was clear since you know there's a boss blocking the way. You never know. You never know. The boss could be a be a red herring. Okay, cool. I got the Vincent weapon. Sweet. What does that do? Does that like? Oh, I think it like stuns them or something. Look blue to me. Is there like, okay, oh there, that's just background. Okay, I don't think there's anything else there. Let's see. What is this place? What is that? Level up some of these magics. Witching. I'm guessing that's paralysis, maybe? Yeah, they're like stopped. Okay, he can move. Granati. Oh shit. I wasted a limit. No! You have wasted a limit. I've lost my limits with you, you fool. This looks like a reactor. You've doomed this world. I am not going the way I'm supposed to go. Oh, can't do anything here right now. Don't bother. Okay. I can't sing up down then. Use the Demi Lovato magic. That sounds painful. What is that? Things that shouldn't be immediately in an entrance to a reactor. Two spaced out pipes that act like a walkway. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm just gonna attack now. My MP's kind of running low. Also, I just realized there's like so many ways you can go in this dungeon and I just immediately got myself to the boss room and then was like, yeah, no, let me, let me go somewhere else. Love that. This looks like a, like a snake to me, like the texture. Looks like snake skin. I hate these dudes. These dudes are annoying. Fucking six eyed looking ass. I feel
feel like their favorite character would be Riska. By the way, by the way, <laughs> have you guys uh, been keeping up with the Riska Undertale memes on uh, Twitter? <laughs> Cause, oh my god, I, I imagine, <laughs> like, a lot of people wouldn't get it if you weren't on Tumblr back in the day, but it, it takes me out. I, I like saw it, just like a constant stream of it on my TL. Just constant Risk of Undertale stuff, and I was like, bro, what year is it? This is not 2023, is it? This uh, this is like something I'd see on Tumblr in like 2014. What is going on? Fucking no, not at all, Chief. Ris uh, Undertale has no power over me. Not Riska Undertale. Yeah, I actually DM'd Jackie being like, hey, uh, have you... Have you seen the Riska Undertale stuff? <laughs> Cause I I was just so out of it. I remember I was just browsing Twitter on my phone one night and all I saw was the Riska Undertale stuff. And I was just like, did I take my sleeping medication already? Cause I feel like I'm having like a fever dream. I feel like I'm, I'm high or something. <laughs> Like, I, I couldn't even process the storyline. As I was, like, seeing posts of it, I, someone compiled it all into one thread, but I still was just, like, just desperately trying to understand what was going on. Like, I, I know it was following a plot from Steven Universe and stuff, but, like, I I couldn't keep up with it, and all I knew was, like, I was seeing, like, the Wensler and stuff again, and I was just like, what the fuck? Everything returns to the Wensler Sands and Komaida. You think you're free, but you're never free from those three. And I think that was the, the brave... What was it? Rise of the Brave Tangled Guardians. <laughs> I forget what they call it. it it's like... That... Like, four people do all of, like, Jack Frost, uh, the chick from Rave, Elsa, Anna, and the dude from How to Train Your Dragon. Like, that that was, like, a big thing on Tumblr back in the day. Like, everyone, like, do, like, fanfics of them, and they were in it, too. And I was just like, what, what is, what is, what is happening? I don't stay up to date with Undertale memes. It, okay, it's not it's not even an Undertale meme. I don't even know why. <laughs> I don't know why it's called Riska Undertale. Well, actually, no. I do know why it's called Riska Undertale. But like, it stars Riska from Homestuck. But it it's like Steven Universe. But Riska is Steven. Komaida is like uh, Steven's mom. Uh, Rose Quartz. And Sans is like Steven's dad. Or I guess Riska's dad in, in this universe. And like the one slur is involved and stuff. The problem is not that I'm a troll. The problem is that I'm a double <laughs> Thank you for the hydrate and take a moment to I It's a trip. It's a trip. I feel like you can only really appreciate Risk of Undertale if you were like into those fan well not even into, just like I was never into the Wensler fandom. I was never into the Rise of the Brave Tangled Guardians fandom. I was just exposed to that stuff. I was just exposed to that stuff being like a Tumblr youth. But like, if that was shit you were exposed to, you might enjoy it. Or it might take you back to a dark part in your life, I don't know. 
What in God's name are you talking about? Briska Undertale. I went to pee. What the fuck is he talking about? Briska Undertale. Elio is talking about the old magic. He was there when it was written. It's okay if you don't understand. I, I don't know if anyone has talked about the fact that Sans is Briska's dad in Briska Undertale and the fact that Briska's theme in Homestuck is Megalovania, which is Sans' theme too. Like, did they did they think that through when they made Sans Riska's dad? Or were they just like Sans Maida based? I wanna know. I wanna know if that was like a design choice. Get exposed to church. Undertale's growth so big a purge is required. <laughs> Basically, this is all of me making fun of Tumblr fandom culture from the 2010s, yes. Is there a hidden thing here? Hold on. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Oh, you do know what I'm talking about? I'm sorry. Near the bridge is a very well-concealed path leading up the rock formation. Follow it and take the lower path when they split. Upper path is a dead end. You'll find a plus beret weapon for red. Okay, is it this part? I just see that, but I decay if that's near where you are, huh? I saw 2D from Gorilla Bus <laughs> Street Diner. <laughs> yeah. I saw Anna. I was, I was shocked that Anna was in it. Like, I don't know. I feel like Anna is definitely kind of like adjacent to those types of characters, but I feel like Anna is not for the girlies. Anna is for the human Nikki fan base. I don't know. I don't know. Is that just me? Like, Anna feels more like like people that browse Ugola Chan adjacent and not really Tumblr adjacent. I don't know if that's just me or not, though. I feel like it was the Sans Maida since everyone just went crazy for the original Kamaida post. Yeah. <laughs> But the Megalovania thing would be so clever. Yeah. Someone someone needs to make an animation of it. And have Megalovania play. And it's like, oh, that's the song that Sans played when they met Kalida. <laughs> I used to browse Uboachan, but I'm still lost. <laughs> like, I don't know. Anna feels like something people that are on Uboachan would like. And not really like a Tumblr thing. But I guess Aina is a, a, a Tumblr thing. I mean, I know Yume is into Aina. And Yume doesn't come across to me as someone that browses Uboachan. Yeah, I used to post anonymously on like their Hikikomori board. I was one of those biz. I really wish I screen capped the Komaida post. It was so funny. <laughs> yeah, it was like, it was that one quote, like, every minute that you love yourself, Briska, just know that that's me loving being you. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the one guy who genuinely believed that the stronger the new song was from the animation of legitimately. <laughs> Sand stronger than you video. Dear Lord. This area confuses me to no end. I have no idea where I'm going. Yeah, this just leads to the just leads to the thing. I'm so confused. This game confuses me where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> this area looks like a National Geographic CJ. <laughs> it does! It does! Song parodies have been a thing for a long while, but I have no idea why Stronger Than You blew up like it did in Undertale. Yeah. 
fact of the day, everyone on Tumblr doing Take Me On with Homestuck characters. Or no, was it Take Me On? No, it was like that one. Uh, it was like the one where they're all dancing under like the, the red like club lights or whatever. I think you turn me on, come on and take me on. Feel alive, come on and take me on. I think that was the song. In the night, come on and turn me on, turn me on, turn me on. That song. That song. I don't even know if I remember the lyrics right. I'll just drop my hot take. Steven Universe is scared to go on darker topics, so it's barely interesting. Didn't Steven Universe, like, stop being a thing? I remember I watched Steven Universe, but I did not finish it. I, I liked Perido, and then I stopped liking Perido. And I liked Lapis Lazuli. Those were my two favorite characters. But then I hated their character development. <laughs> Swing and a chain, swing and a chain. I mean, that animation is cool as fuck. I know what you're talking about. It was the ending of an anime. I also didn't finish Stupid Universe. The hiatus made it a nightmare to follow. Yeah, didn't they, like, do a time skip for Steven Universe 2? And I think that was kind of like the nail in the coffin was the, the time skip. I remember liking Garnet a lot. Yeah, Garnet was really cool. I loved Garnet's whole story with, like, Ruby. And Sapphire. It's pretty much what happened to Steven Universe at the end. People like Thing, but they did not like how it concluded. Understandable. We we just need more. The children do not want long, long cartoons inspired by shoujo anime. They want anime like Gravity Falls, or not anime. Why did I say anime? <laughs> The children long for more cartoons that are two seasons long. Like Gravity Falls, that's what I want. I want more short cartoons. Getting tired, I'm getting tired of like cartoons leaving things open-ended cause oh, we don't know if we're gonna get another season. This might be the last season, it might not. Oh, we gotta like push our merch out by Y'all remember My Little Pony? <laughs> wait, wait, oh, I think, I think I got it. What? That's a path? That's a path? I remember watching the movie, the whole villain was interesting, but they dropped the evilness so fast like IDK. Was that the character that had like the the runny like eye makeup? And I think they had like stars or whatever. It's like star makeup or something. The show went on hiatus all the time. It was terrible. Mm. To be fair, the evilness was due to amnesia in the movie. Ah. I've been watching Owl House. Yeah, everyone's talking about Owl House. I really need to get around to watching that. Okay, wait, what is this path? What is this path? I'm, I'm confused. What? What? That's probably it. They just made this path? They just made this path? For no reason? Bro! I know my little pony. Never gave that show a chance. I only watched season one. Um, But like, my little pony had the problem of like, who was it, Hasbro I think, owns my little pony. And they kept being like, we need to have a new, new marketable line. So they would keep like doing really like dumb moves with the show to coincide with like the, the things. Like I, I think like the creator said like, if, if she could, she would only have two alicorns. But like, 
in the in the second season or third season there are like new alicorn all of a sudden and we're gonna have a royal wedding because right now is the royal wedding so we gotta we gotta make bank off of the the money from the people that are celebrating the real world royal wedding with our our ponies getting married with like playtime sets and stuff and so they did that and then like the next season they had like Twilight become an alicorn so that they could make merch of Twilight as an alicorn But like it was really dumb in retrospect because the whole thing was like Like the whole thing of my little pony was to learn like Friendship is magic and then like by the third season she was like the princess of friendship So like where's the growth from that you're already princess of it You already know what friendship is I never saw my little pony but people bullied me for having a rainbow dash toy I'll fight you till this day motherfucker rainbow dash is my favorite <laughs> okay I am so close to just getting out a guide I'm confused I'm confused What is this area called? I mean, whatever. It's a weapon for dog. We'll get a new one. Final Fantasy Seven guy. I'm just trying to find my way around here. I don't know where to go. Let me see. Gold Saucer, Cosmo Canyon. Is this Rocket Town? Oh, thank you. Okay. Take the short linear path to an opening in the mountainside. Mount Nebel. Okay. First enemy is a dragon. Got a gold armlet. Got that. We'll drop a fire fang. Second of the boss. Yeah, how do I get back to the boss? <laughs> In the first area, follow the path around the bottom, then upward. Yeah, where am I at? Where am I at? I'm trying to find a map. <laughs> I feel like I've been walking around in circles. Eliminating Elliot's exploration sense with random topics about cartoons. Just another normal day, honestly. Okay, where am I at? I am. Okay, let me see. What the big thing with the the three entrances? Okay. Oh, this just has images. It doesn't even. Okay, DK, Donkey Kong. He's the leader of the bunch, you know him well. And I'm finally back to wink at you. Thank you, Eternal Vibe. Let me see. Am I winking? Okay, yeah. Ah. Uh, let me try and wink. <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> winking is hard. Winking's tough. Ah! I will wink. I will wink, I swear. There we go. <laughs> Thank you for the head bats. All right. How the fuck? <laughs> what am I doing? Can I do this anyway? Cute. of attack. No, no, no. Don't use that. That would be a waste. Yeah, baby. Free EXP. 
I have too many opinions about Steven Universe for someone who didn't watch all the episodes. And then another thing about Steven Universe. Half joking. No, it's fine. I rambled enough. <laughs> I'm just getting guilt. It's okay. Already recouped the gold saucer cost and then some. Yeah, we're just grinding. This is all a ploy by me. Totally. Making on VTube Studio is like moving the pinky without moving any of the fingers next to it. <laughs> I'm so... I'm at a loss right now. How to get through this area. Is there like a wink button or something? I feel like that should be a thing. I know with my old model, I made it to where I could do a hotkey and it would just close my eyes automatically. Uh, I haven't gotten that set up for this model, but I can do that. I just thought the winking was a bit easier to catch with this model, but it does not look to be the case. I know, this like model's raking is a lot better than my old one. Like I can do a lot more movements than my old one. I'm having fun making a low poly model, but I swear each step forward gets scary and scary. Ooh. Well, good luck on that, Linux. Yeah. Let's see. Is it going this way? No. Don't go that way. Is this like a loop? Bro. This area confuses me so much. <laughs> I'm so lost in this dungeon. Yeah, I have no idea where to go. Like the paths just don't make any sense to me. So yeah, here's where I got the material. I feel like I have to go back this way. Well, you dropped down a ledge. No, I went, I went through like a... Uh, maybe I did? Oh, baby girl. Let's go. Can you stop laying flat on my face? I don't know you like that. I just want to get to the, the safe point. <laughs> like tempted to just load my save file. <laughs> I don't want to lose like all the stuff I found. Baby girl. Oh, hi there, Jill. How's it going? I am trying desperately to find my way around <laughs> this area. Sick 
but getting better. Oh, yeah. Good luck. I hope I hope the sickness goes away soon. Okay, fine. I'll do Planet Protector. I bet the realization is just around the corner. I desperately trying to find my way around. I'm Twy. <laughs> I'm now immortal. May as well just do it. What limit breaks means you'll unlock other limit breaks. Yeah. Jesus Christ. I'm looking up a video. I'm getting frustrated. Nibble. I'm gonna find where I'm at. Okay, they got to the boss. Okay, hold on. Sorry. So in them wandering around the... What are you doing? Are you serious? Just about had it. Was the reactor? It was the reactor. Wouldn't it be funny if I misread the game of cues and the way out was actually through the reactor? <laughs> You got some strawberry jam on your cheeky little silly little goose. <laughs> well, you get what you pay for, and I'm working for free. It's fine. I, I should have known. I should have. I should have checked the reactor area more carefully. I'm fine. My blood pressure is not going up. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> I had a feeling. I was like, the one place I am ignoring is the reactor. What if it's the reactor? <laughs> Some jam splash and Elio when Eric smashed Sephiroth with a chair. Sephiroth was eating a sandwich. <laughs> yeah, it takes me. Wait, no, no, I'm not wrong. Going into that reactor area is nowhere. You just missed that door. <laughs> Stop laying flat on me. Gross. Oh my god. I kill them all. You just missed the door. Yeah, whatever. The door was hiding behind the, them, their bushes. <laughs> I finished the investigation into my alleged wrongdoings and see that I did nothing wrong. Except for making me believe that I could, I should not go near that area. But that was more on my fault. Because I thought, oh, 
Dwarf told me not to go to the reactor, so I should just not go to that area at all. That was my mistake. The clunk of Aerith's staff never gets old. It's so good. It gives me so... What, what is it called? Endorphins. Okay. So now we can do the tubular thing. Totally tubular. Or maybe not. Indirectly putting the blame on our poor little fella. Look, I was opening what my one pack of co Pokemon cards I bought. And I was trying to get cash back. <laughs> You'll be paid in Cole's cash for your efforts, some dwarf. Do you guys think Cole's cast will start being an NFT? I could see Cole's making Cole Cash NFTs. Speaking of, I don't know why. I don't know why. Recently, I've never, never in my life as a kid, I was never a doll kid. Okay, like I was kind of into Polly Pockets and I was kind of into like, like anime dolls. Like I had, I had like Lee Shadon and Cardcaptor Sakura and Tuxedo Mask and like Sailor Moon dolls. But I never was like the kid that like played with their dolls or asked for dolls. For like Christmas, I would always be like, I want a PlayStation 2. I want Final Fantasy Game Boy. I want Pikachu. That's what I would ask every like Christmas and stuff. How do I get that treasure? But anyway, I've been I've been watching a lot of videos about like dolls recently, like like Monster High and American what is it called? American Girl. There's some drama with American Girl. There's like there's like a, a whole like conspiracy theory with American Girl. I don't know why. I know why. It's cute that I don't know why. <laughs> oh god, I hope... I hope not, but if we even got Nike's NFTs, there's no hope yet. <laughs> the thought of Fruit of the Loom NFTs wormed into my heart and I'm cackling. Oh my god. <laughs> Forever 21 NFTs. American Horror Story. American Girls. It's like a it's like a doll brand. And they have like three lines. They have like um they have like this one line that is like uh historical and I think that's how like the whole line started out was like uh historical dolls that like represent like eras of history like you know they got like a, a Native American dolls and and all uh, like I remember they made a historical doll for the 90s and that hurt that hurt what do you mean <laughs> what do you mean 90s is historical no 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 that is not historical <laughs> please it's only 30 years ago please but anyway Oh god, as long as Hoyoverse doesn't start with NFTs I pray to god they don't What is this? This is different animation This is not how the Odin summon animation usually looks Gungnir! Holy crap! Got impaled. It's going to the moon. Crypto Bros, today we're gonna talk on my new investment. Girl doll, girl doll NFTs. God, there is- okay! There, oh, no, 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 I didn't mean to do fire three, no! He heals with fire. But 
anyway, uh, there's like this one doll brand and I forgot what it was called. It was, it was some like influencer-esque kind of doll line or whatever. I, I didn't really read into it very much, but one of the characters in it, her hobbies is like she she's shown as like an artist. She's shown as like the artist doll, and her hobbies is drawing clothes and making them into NFTs. Like that is on her doll, like thing. That's like her her doll description is that she's an NFT artist. What? See what Odin does when he can't insta kill. Oh, okay. Dead by Daylight did one NFT of a mug shot of Pinhead in a model editor. Yeah, people were pissed about that. Like, wasn't it that you could not get the character unless you bought like the NFT or, or, or some dumb thing like that? Huh? I want to meet her parents. I know when they went wrong. Sorry, that's kind of mean. Though. <laughs> it's all good. But yeah. <laughs> and I was just like, are, are the people that made these dolls like planning to make NFTs or something? Because <laughs> like, why, why would you think that is like a positive character trait to give your character? Yeah, I make NFTs. I want to see like a character in the same universe that is all about like save the planet i don't like <laughs> they like use up energy conserve and then they're just like bitter enemies if you can't do that then i don't want no nft character oh shit no don't need to do that Did you just heal yourself? Don't even remember anymore. It just stuck with me because it looked cheap and hilarious. Oh? Everything? <laughs> oh, thank you for the hydrate. Why? What is that? Oh my god. You fucked up this time, big boy. Gonna make myself immortal. Where's my shoes, PNG? I have to sell them on the blockchain to the moon. <laughs> Yo, bro, look at these sick new shoes I got on the metaverse. Yo, there was like, did you guys hear about that one? Like, it was some furry, like, uh, like online game, and. It died so that they could make a metaverse NFT game using the same like program and stuff from the furry online game that had like really in-depth character customization or something and just ruined it. Did you guys hear about says the most insane shit imaginable every time? I'm sorry. I I don't know why <laughs> I come across these these knowledge nuggets, but I don't know. Hey, cool, a ring, yeah. Let's take a look at some of the stuff we grab. Gem ring, protects against paralyzed, petrifying, and slow numb. Hmm. What's the earth drum? Oh, Quake 2. What do you have? Berserk, Fury, Sadness. I think I'd rather not get petrified. Oh, damn. Barret. Well, fast. Hold on. Can I do PHS at the same spot? Okay, I can. Get out of here. If 
funny part is it's always self-sabotage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, my god. When I heard about the game before they made it into an NFT mess, like, it actually sounded like a good game. But then they just ruined it with the NFT thing. And, like, it's so bare bones, too. It's so bare bones because, like, you don't have the character customization, like, option of the original because you can't customize your characters anymore because it's an NFT game. So you have to have an NFT to play. Like, my god. Yeah, anyway, uh, I wanted to talk about the American Girl controversy for a second. So apparently, there's like a controversy. Also, does anyone know how I can get this treasure right here? I wanna get this treasure. I had some friends trying to sell me a land on the metaverse. Like, dude, I can barely pay rent. What the fuck you talking about? <laughs> a piece of land in the metaverse? They selling land in the metaverse now? Looks like there's a pipe that feeds out to it. Hmm. Was his name Crypto Luigi? <laughs> Luigi better not be into crypto. Crypto Luigi? Who is Crypto Luigi? I better not be doing this shit. Crypto, what? What is Crypto Luigi? What is this? Atlas Earth ad. What? Just bought land in the met. Wait, why does this model look so terrible? Catch me on the way up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting paid rent and cash. No, you ain't. Bro, this model is so punchable. I just want to punch this model so hard. I've never wanted to punch a model so hard. God. And you know these people ain't making money, right? They... they that's the whole thing with like the NFT thing is like, if they're making money, they ain't gonna talk about it. The worst part is we've seen what he looks like IRL. He looks a lot like that. Damn, I'm gonna punch him. Oh, there we go. Oh, another all, nice. Soon you will come to your town. There'll be an old man outside of a shop. He'll give you a weapon if you talk to him a lot. You'll then meet a woman named Shara. When you meet Shara, it is condor time. Oh, baby. Yeah, like, I love... I love how the NFT thing is. Is they're like, we're making so much money from these NFTs. No. You're making money off of, like, pyramid scheming it off to someone else. The NFTs only grow in value if someone else is buying it. That is, uh... Y'all doing modern day MLMs, my guys. But now you're using shitty PNGs of apes. Instead. You're not even getting something physical now. At, le at least with the MLMs, I could get like a, a shitty knife. Or a shitty vacuum cleaner. But no, now now I just get a PNG of a pair of shoes made in like Blender for like two hours. I love slash hate how crypto is the new MLM and some people don't realize about it. <laughs> I remember <laughs> I saw this one post and it was like this one guy telling his like daughter or son or whoever to start making nfts and they're like 
NFTs are a scam, Dad. I don't want to do it. And he's like, yeah, that's why I want you to do it. I want you to scam people. <laughs> and, and then, like, the same dad told him to, like, become a priest. And he's like, Dad, I'm not religious. And he's like, I know. I just want you to scam people. <laughs> yeah, MLMs are a Ponzi scheme, but whatever, yeah. Dead based, Ayo. <laughs> I love that. Wait, where'd my buggy go? Oh, my buggy. I can't bring my buggy with me. Okay, but anyway, I keep wanting to talk about it, but I keep not talking about it. So anyway, the American Girl controversy is like, so American Girl started off with, what was it? Like historical releases. Like they were all girls, like based off of like the 1920s. Like there, there was this one girl that was like, like they, they come like with storybooks and stuff that like, talk about their life in the like 1930s or whatever and they started doing like these girl of the year ones and i think like a just like me doll line as well for like more modern dolls so that like more girls could have like dolls that look just like them hashtag relatable hashtag this person isn't suffering from like some like child labor scheme of the 1930s or whatever, just like me. Um, but anyway, uh, so in 2017, they had this one girl, uh, that was the, the girl of the year. Like they have a girl of the year every year. And like that girl of the year, what's that? Is the girl of the year. Anyway, I'll talk about it right here. So the girl of the year gets like merchandise and like clothes and like little little play sets and stuff released all throughout the year like stories and i think like they used to like make movies every year of the girl of the year uh but that all stopped in 2017 when this one girl got released and a lot of people were saying that that girl got chosen to be girl of the year in like a conspiracy thing and how there was like another girl that was originally gonna be the girl of the year. But she wound up getting pushed back to be a different line for some reason. And one of the reasons people are talking about it was because like there was criticism. That there wasn't many uh, people of color as like girl of the year dolls. Like they, it was just mostly like white girls with like blue eyes and blonde hair. Um, and so the 2017... Uh, girl of the year was a black girl and she was like a dancer and that also got people pissed off because there were like three girl of the years that were already dancers in the past and like i guess the girl of the year hasn't been around for that long so they're like another dancer and like most of the girl of the years would get like four books released uh in that year and she got like two released and she didn't get a movie and she didn't get many playset releases and she didn't get many clothes and, like, they were kind of, like, half-assed. And so a bunch of people are like, oh, did they just, like, rush this doll out because of, like, criticism that they weren't, you know, being inclusive enough? And they were looking into more stuff, and there was this one doll that they wound up releasing as a separate line called, like, the Contemporary line or whatever. And I, I forgot what her name was, but she looked very similar to Taylor Swift. Uh, and she had a guitar, and the name of the guitar was Taylor. And she came with a boyfriend doll, which was, like, the first male doll. And when she got released, she got released in the same year, 2017, as a separate line. And she had more play sets, more clothes, more books. She had, like, four books, which was, like, the same amount of a Girl of the Year doll. Uh, and... Need I remind you that the girl of the year, that was the, the black girls one, she only came out with two books. And like her 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 doll play sets that came with her were a lot more detailed. And people noticed that uh, the 2017 girl 
was just them reusing a mold from a Just Like Me line doll. Like, she looked exactly like a Just Like Me doll, and they just, like, repurposed it. Gave her new clothes, touched up her hair or whatever, and gave her new play sets and just, like, threw her out into the wild. Ba-bam. Uh, and some people are saying that the reason that this girl got chosen wasn't the inclusivity, but because there was legal issues with the the girl with the guitar that looks like Taylor Swift. Uh, because they apparently got into legal issues before about this one girl that is eerily similar to a uh, astronaut. Uh, because like the name of her, her last name is taken from like a constellation that this one astronaut at NASA is like really like, like makes like analysis of stuff and stuff and like her design was very similar like apparently this doctor was well known for like having like black hair with like a purple streak that this character had black hair with a purple streak uh the name was a bit similar stuff like that uh and the person went to court over it and when they went to court over it they they cited the taylor swift doll as infringing on taylor swift as well <laughs> And they, they took the company to court over it. <laughs> and just, there's, there's, there's this whole web of them, like, there's just this whole web of controversy over these three dolls. It's insane. And, like, I didn't go into everything. Like, like how the, the Taylor Swift doll has, like, custom arms and, and stuff. And, like, the, the, the girl of the year doesn't. And, like, how, like, Kohl's, apparently, for every girl of the year, they would feature, like, the doll in, in Kohl's store, but they didn't feature the girl of the year during the girl of the year, but they featured the, the Taylor Swift doll. <laughs> it, it's just, there's, there's just so much shit. There's just so much shit about it. And I don't know why this shit is so interesting to me, but I don't know. I just, like, and just one night, I just spent the whole night just looking up Things about American girl controversies. <laughs> but yeah, apparently they're known for like stealing people's likeness without getting permission. <laughs> All night, why? I don't know. I never really got into dolls. Yeah, but, but I'll look up controversies about American doll apparently. I never even wanted an American doll, bro. Like, <laughs> I always thought American dolls looked ugly. <laughs> Like, I would see them, you, you would get, like, the little booklets of the American dolls to, like, go through. Like, their catalog or whatever, and I would be like, yo, these these girl, these dolls look ugly. I don't like their teeth. <laughs> like, they, they, like, expose, like, their, their two front teeth, and it always creeped me out. Anyway, back to the game. <laughs> What's that? American baby girl. Rusty old rocket. Wonder why they made something so huge. Oh, I got a few stuff in here. This place looks comfy as heck. There's tons of what look like antique guns, but the owner of this store was a real gun fanatic. Oh boy. I don't wanna look at what his internet search history is. A gun is a man's weapon. Nothing else will do. If you're a real man, you will you will fist fight me right now. Holy shit! I got exposed into so much obscure lore. What the hell do I do with my life now? <laughs> yeah, now now you can consider yourself uh, an American girl uh, head, an American girl historian. Let me buy like a couple of those. Can we sell like one gun in your store. What what's up with that? So gun these nuts. <laughs> How do I untitle myself off of it? <laughs> hmm, is it real or fake? Is that the Mona Lisa? Da Vinci? What 
Welcome to the Shanghai Inn. It's a hundred gil a night. Would you like to spend the night? Yeah, sure. Happy little lurker, gonna commit arson. Oh, send me the pics when you're done. Nairon, good luck. For for legal reasons, this is a joke. Would you like something to drink? Yeah, let me hear your story. My name's Orin. Did you meet the captain already? He's really the town's representative, so you should really talk with him. Shanghai exists in FF7? Is, is Shanghai like a, a reoccurring area in Final Fantasy? Better ask the captain about this town. He's the one in charge of it. You see a man in a black cape. A man in a black cape? Nope, never seen him. Who's the captain? Captain was a pilot when Shinra was still interested in their space program. Oh boy, don't tell them about the American girl. It was gonna be the world's first astronaut, but there was an accident. Ever since then, he's been wasting his life away here, dreaming about going into outer space. Yeah, or he's prepping his legal team. I'm in here. We'll come out. No, I'm just thinking a Chinese city exists in FF7, huh? Oh, <laughs> erg. Oh, oh wait. Are you okay? It looked like his dialogue was changing. Erg, erg. Hey. Okay, I'm assuming there's nothing for doing that. Let him poop in peace. No. We shit together. Yeah, there's a Yuffie's town. Oh, this is Yuffie's town? Come here. That rusted out rocket is all that remains of the Shinra's space program. Oh, no? Oh, okay. you're disturbing a poor constipated dude. <laughs> hey, what you shitting out? Mm, I'm so bored. Isn't there anything that can excite me? Have you ever heard of American Doll? American Girl. I, I don't even remember the name of the brand. That's the item shop's old man. Jeez, it's boring. Isn't anything exciting going to happen here? Do you want to hear about the, the Mattel Barbie's best friend scandal? Where they released a pregnant doll of her and people got very pissed off about it. Because she could remove the pregnancy from her and actually have a doll of her with the baby. Yeah, that was another, that was another uh, controversy that I read up on. This used to be a Shinra base where they launched rockets. <laughs> you saw the leaning rocket, right? That's Shinra number 26. It never got off the ground though. I always find it kind of funny <laughs> how there's just that one town that's just specifically very Asian and a lot of JRPGs just want, oh yeah. <laughs> like, like Tales of Symphonia with Sheena's town and stuff. Focus. Elio on a date with Barn. So have you heard how the court case of the Taylor Swift American Girl doll went? I probably would. I probably would talk about shit like that. I just get reminded about something just randomly and I start going off on a weird tangent about some obscure fucking internet thing. Being like, oh my god, this reminds me of Webkins. I never even played Webkins. Why do I have so much knowledge about Webkins? I talked to him a few times for the weapon. It sucks, but whatever. Oh, wait, what character do I talk to for a weapon? The old man. All Gramps does is gaze at that rocket all day long. Okay, so. 
There's a guy looking at a rocket. Okay, let's see. I want to get some more ethers. That's good. Can never go wrong with some tents. Oh, barrier? Exit. I'm assuming that just warps you to the, the world map? Elio, no, please. Look at the whole shop before you buy stuff. Eh? No, like, he sells materia. Wait, what really loves machinery? It looked like you were just about to bottom yourself out on ethers. <laughs> okay, well, like, the materials he has doesn't even look all that good. He's got barrier. Um, time is pretty good. Escape and remove. The former spell allows the player to escape from a battle immediately without a reward, while the latter removes an enemy from the battle with no spoils received. Sucks. Okay, yeah. Let's barrier you. I'll buy like another time one. Because I do like having haste. Yeah, where's the old man? Oh, oh, this dude. This dude. This dude right here. It just looms there. That's how the town got its name. Shinra number 26. Want to look at the rocket with me? Yeah. Looks like a Crayola crayon. Looks like a Crayola crayon. I, I stuffed up my nose in like fifth grade. I get so impressed every time I look at it. Yeah, me too. I was impressed I could fit it in. Sorry to get you into this. For me, it's a kind of hobby. But out of appreciation, let me give you this. Yoshiyuki. Is that a macho? We should take care of it and use it. Yoshiyuki Sadamato? What is this? Sword is used when an ally is down. What? Why can't you just be normal? Thank you for the blessing. <laughs> that was the weirdest interim SO sneeze I've ever seen. <laughs> that was really weird. Yeah, let me equip the Yoshiyuki Sadamato bleed. A weapon that lacks the material slots but powers up if allies are KO'd sucks. Why would they do that to Yoshiyuki Sadamato? He didn't deserve a weapon of that legacy. Okay, when he says lacks in materia slots, I assumed he meant zero, less bad. Hmm. It's my job to make people laugh all over the world. Me too. I just wind up having people be horrified at me instead of laughing, though. I thought sharing, like, sharing trivia about American Girl would make people laugh. But I think I just made people think that I'm insane instead. <laughs> I thought it was funny. Alright, let's see, what's in here? So many bathrooms. You're insane, but we appreciate your insanity. Thank you. <laughs> a drill arm? Oh, that reminds me. I got Guru... What is it called? Guru Guru Dean? Or whatever. It looks super cute. Uh, I had a feeling that was a barrier weapon. We tank in Topa now. We got, what is this? Is this a car? Hmm? Looks like there's a, oh, okay. Is this Sid's house or something? Do you ever equip this go? Oh, I did not. There's a Shinra logo on it. Tiny Bronco. This is cool. <laughs> What's 
take it, okay? But are we just gonna steal someone's ear? <laughs> we're just gonna steal an airplane? <laughs> it's like, cool, let's take it. I love you, Aerith. Um, may I help you? Disengage from female, Fort Condor time. Oh, oh no. No, we're just looking at it. If you'd like to use it, please ask the captain. The captain should be in the rocket. I'm Shara, and what are your names? Here is my wife. She's so good. I'm baby girl. I'm Aerith. Baby girl's so cute getting excited over planes. <laughs> Aerith was like, oh, cool plane, mine. Girl, private property? <laughs> I respect her. Tifa, nice to meet you. Hmm, so you're not with the Shinra? Aerith committing crimes like she deserves. See, this is why I stand her. I thought you were bringing approval for the space program. Aerith has never let me down a single moment in my life. She does exactly what I want her to do and more. President Rufus is scheduled to come here. The captain's been so restless all morning. I can't wait for her to like take away from the proletariat. Rufus? All right, disengage. I gotta leave this town. Like, look at lousy Tifa being so normal. Yeah, I don't, I don't date normies. Sorry. I need me a crazy girl. I need me a girl like that. Tifa would tell you not to steal a plane like a normie. Yeah, she would be like, baby girl, you get in trouble if you steal that. You'll go to jail. Not if I don't get caught. I don't know how long you're gonna stream, but meeting the captain and finishing the stuff with him would be a good stopping point. Okay. Oh my god. Have I been streaming? Okay. Oh, I think that's just in, in general. I think I've just been streaming for five hours in general. I thought I was streaming Final Fantasy for five hours. I love bringing Era to meet Vincent because he tries his hardest to gesticulate and orate dramatically and she just relentlessly <laughs> roasts him. Oh my god. I need to see that. Tifa would pay for your bail, but Aerith would be sitting in jail with you going, man, I can't believe we got caught. See, that's why I love Aerith. That is exactly why I'm an Aerith stan. Not quite, no. Yeah, two hours, 20 minutes of episode seven. Yeah, I think, I can keep going. Oh, hey, it's Alice. I'm sorry I stopped playing your game, Alice. I got too scared. Nut. That's what I'm gonna do with Aerith. Do 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 do. Cat jam, yeah, this this area's music is really good. I do wish there was a little more like song variety though. Like I've heard this song in, in so many dungeons. And I've heard the, the town theme a lot too. They're good songs though. Oh, we got Big Tonka. The honky tonk. Oh, I put sense on her and not steal. What is wrong with you, Elio? I love Vincent so much, edgy doofus, and I'll never shy from saying he's actually cool. I have a feeling once I see more of him, I'll really like him because I tend to love those types of characters. I'm fair, Tifa does eco-terrorism and you do it together, but like, Tifa would get into a moral dilemma about crimes. Aerith would not, and I want that kind of energy. Yeah. Like, Tifa needs a reason to commit crimes. Aerith is just like, oh, you wanna you wanna commit crimes today? I'm down. Yes, 
yes, I love him a lot. Wait, this isn't Heaven's Gate. <laughs> if your name is Vincent, then you're based already. Gunge, Gunge Lance, Gunge Lance. Okay, so this isn't an insta kill since it's this animation. Damn, his eyes are so cool. Go in here. This is the land that will pierce the heavens. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Oh, I don't know if I, I've equipped Tifa recently. <laughs> Pretty much just put her in my party when I feel like it. So I haven't really checked out. Oh yeah, I did not. Let's put that on. What is this time? Let's put another all on that. Oh wait, yeah, switch this with steel. And then, oh yeah, look at you guys too. Yay, you got another, another one. Okay, let's see, um. Yeah, let's do all earth, why not? Man with FF7 being my first Final Fantasy ever. FF8 traumatized me over Odin. <laughs> God, FF8. A part of me wants to play FF8 because that was another game I had as a kid that I never finished beating because I got frustrated with it. Because I hated playing card games. <laughs> um, at the same time, I do not want to play card games. Tifa, I wish it didn't have to come to this, but if it's for the greater good, Eric holds Tifa's hand. Don't sweat it, babe. <laughs> Wait, what can, yeah, Final Fantasy VIII. Yeah, whatever, fuck FF8. I do really want to play FF9. That's always been like the one Final Fantasy that I really looked at. Cause it feels so different from the other like FFs of that like time period. Like it, it feels a lot more jubilant or whatever, what do you call it? A, a lot more jovial, a lot more, a lot more fun and lighthearted. You said card games. I thought you meant like Yu-Gi-Oh Forbidden Memories, which yeah, really fucked that. <laughs> Except the hack enemy. No, okay. I play some card games. I play some card games, but if it's like a JRPG, and like I have to grind like card games to progress in it unless it, it is like a card game RPG then I I just no like it's one thing to play a Yu-Gi-Oh game like if you complain about the card games when you're playing a Yu-Gi-Oh game like what did you expect it's Yu-Gi-Oh Yeah, FF9 is rad, definitely would rad. Yeah, I always, I, I remember I would play like the city and stuff and I would see Zidane. That, that, that's the that's the main character's name, right? Zidane. And I would see Zidane and I was like, oh, he's so cute. He's got like the little monkey tail. And he, he feels like really like, like a fun guy. He's just like a, a funky little dude. And maybe I don't know Zidane like like people that play as Zidane know Zidane, but he just felt like such a silly little guy. He's just he's just a silly. Okay, I like I like silly little pro tags. Like I do like I do like edgy pro tags. I do. I love edgy little pro tags, but there's something about the silly little guys, the, the like dumbass little guy pro tags that just really hit me. He 
He's not a fun guy, he's a monkey boy. <laughs> Wait to meet Freya, you'll fall in love. Oh my god. FF9 leads towards FF not FF pre-FF7 vibes. Without using throwbacks as a crutch, Freya is my wife. I really need to get I really need to get FF9. And like I I really liked like Crystal Chronicles. Like I feel like I've always liked the Final Fantasy. I, I wouldn't call them the der derivatives. But like they're not mainline. What do you call it? But like Crystal Chronicles, Crystal Bearers, um Tactics Tactics Advance. Games like those, spin-offs, yeah. I always liked the spin-offs that kinda had that vibe about it. I don't know. They always just had a certain vibe about them that I really felt. Like I love Crystal Bearers. I love Crystal Chronicles, like, I don't know, there's just something so comfy about the fantasy settings of those games. That, like, mainline Final Fantasy, I can never, like, really feel. Like, I think the closest of, like, recent FF games, if you could even call it recent, that I felt that way was, like, FF12, I think. But even then, it was still just like not, not quite there in like the level of comfiness that I felt playing Crystal Bearers or, or Crystal Chronicles. And I don't know how to describe it. VV is my little spoingle. VV my child. VV is amazing. I do remember liking VV in uh, Kingdom Hearts, but I know like Kingdom Hearts VV is probably not you know like Final Fantasy VV. Why no, I am resisting getting into Star Rail. <laughs> Vivi the world. I tried with the turn-based combat called to me and the trash cans. Don't be like me, stay strong. <laughs> I shall see how close nine gets for you, yeah. I hope it's like that. Cause like I do like mainline Final Fantasy, but I always the children yearn for a Crystal Chronicles, Crystal Bearer, Tactics Advance, Revival. Like, barely default got there. I, like, if I were to describe, like, the perfect Final Fantasy game for me... <laughs> funnily enough, it's it's not even Final Fantasy. It, it's, it's barely default. But, I don't like how the plot went with barely default. At a certain point. I was enjoying it so much. I was enjoying Bravely Default so much. Like, I loved Bravely Default. Like, I was on the Meverse. <laughs> I was on the Meverse for Bravely Default. Like, drawing fan art of, oh, Agnes and Tiz. Like, I was so obsessed with Agnes and Tiz. Like, I shipped them so hard. I would listen to You Are My Hope and I would cry because I would think about Agnes and Tiz as like a ship and I would just lose it. I would just lose it. The bad news is the Fort Condor fight after this one will be very, very fast. Oh, good news. It will be a lot easier to get to Fort Condor. Oh, thank God. Did I get that sounded like something Susie from Delta Room would say. Not gonna lie. <laughs> I love turn based combat and trash cans. Oh no. You need a murder girl. No, if I were to get a Bravely Default, if I were to get a Bravely Default emo, it would be Agnes, but she looks like uh, that guy from Adventure Time. I forgot what his name was. The Lemon. The lemon dude. Unacceptable! That guy. I will get an emote of Anya's looking like that guy from Adventure Time with the unacceptable face. That's the bravely default emote I want. I will buy FF9 for you if no one else will by the time a sale comes by. That's how much I think you'd like the game, really. Please don't! You just got me pocket mirror, Jackie! I think like, oh my 
god, now that I'm thinking about it, most of the games that I'm playing on stream have been games Jackie has bought me. Jackie bought me Final Fantasy VII. Jackie bought me Umi Neko. Jackie bought me Pocket Mirror. Our life is an outlier because that was one that, uh, that was one that Goldie got. Like, what other games am I playing? Yeah, that, that's all of them, right? The Miiverse was so cringy, holy shit. I loved going on Miiverse. I, I would never look at Miiverse posts, but something about the drawing format of Miiverse just called out to me. I don't know why. Like, I think that's also why I enjoyed Splatoon so much. Like, a lot of my time in playing Splatoon wasn't even playing Splatoon. It was just me drawing shit. There's no Murger or BTTV emote. Unacceptable. Is this is this an Anya's emote? Yes. I love Anya's man. I okay, like I have a lot of mixed feelings about the later half of uh Bravely Default. That first half of Bravely Default. Mm, so good. I will donate to Elio for Final Fantasy IX when he wants to play it. You don't get to fund all his streams, Jackie. <laughs> yeah, Jackie, Jackie's the MVP. Jackie is the only reason I am streaming right now. Oh wait, I do want to do that actually. No, my turn to spoil, bud. <laughs> you already spoiled me. JRPG grinding chaos root, picking goblin, likes the Pope. Where'd you get off being pro church? <laughs> Listen, there's something about the girlies in JRPGs that are like the church girls. That like, I don't know why, like, I would probably not like the, those girlies IRL, but like when it's in a JRPG and like a girl is just devoted to her religion, I just, I, I stand. But then like she realizes that the religion that she worship is, is, is like some demon from the crags of hell that like is sustained through the, the suffering of like 50 orphaned children a day or some something like that and then she like becomes like a, a strong independent woman but still keeps like the 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 energy of a church girl but she's a rebellious church girl now she's no longer a church girl but the personality of a church girl is within her i don't know how to describe it but it slaps it slaps. Mm, read her Bible. <laughs> Listen, if there's a sale or it's Black Friday slash Christmas, it's a good time to buy stuff, okay? <laughs> God, Elio is describing Brane from FF9. Really? You guys keep making me want to play for FF9. Mercedes from, yeah, I love Mercedes. Mercedes is so good! Wife! I married Edelgard, but like Mercedes? Mm. And like, I, I I am very opinionated on like the time skip designs. I, I, a lot of the time, like I did not like the time skip designs as much as like, pre-time skip, but Mercedes, Mercedes time skip design is so good. It's so good. FF9 is so great. It has so many maids. <gasps> you have my attention. 
You have my attention. There. There's maids in Final Fantasy IX. Say no more. Say no more. This is going on my wish list immediately. Edelgard picker, huh? Yeah. Listen, I'm not the proudest. I'm not the proudest Edelgard stand. But I am an Edelgard stand. I'm sorry. I just love girlies that want to kill God. I don't know. Also, I never played FF9. <laughs> I was gonna say, t wait, is there no maids? Did you trick me? Did you trick me? Are there no maids in FF9? Three Hopes Mercedes is wonderful too. I still need to play Three Hopes. I keep like wanting to play it and engage, but I just don't got the money for it. I'm a proud Edelgard stand. Let's go, Jill. Listen, I know, I know Edelgard has done very bad things. And honestly, I stand her for it. Oh no, we missed just with two separate. I gave the bun false hopes. You did. You gave me three hopes, Twy. They could be maids. I have no idea. I'm also uh, a Crimson Flower Rayo stand. She's peak woman's wronged. Yep. Uh, again. Again. She's a church girl. Rhea is a church girl. Rhea is a church girl. Full, full on. Full on church girl that commits many wrongdoings and I stand her for that. I do, I do like Rhea. I think she's mommy as fuck. How can Kina not be a maid? Is this a maid? Yeah, that's a maid, okay, I stand. I don't know who Kina is, but their design is peak. I love the tongue. Did I ever tell you guys that I, I'm like a big Lick a Tongue fan? I don't know, there's something so cute about Lick a Tongue. I don't I don't even know what about the design just makes Lick a Tongue so appealing to me. I think it's also like the tail. I love the tail on Lick a Tongue. It's so cute. Kima is a cook. I'd be okay if they count, but I will not complain if you decide to agree to it. <laughs> Nine maids, nine hours, nine buns. <laughs> yeah, it's so unreasonable that Rhea suddenly acts suddenly so crazy and unreasonable as is constantly assaulted by heinous crimes against the bones of her ancestors. <laughs> you what? What's wrong with me liking? Look at tongue. So what? People people can like fucking I don't know. Look at Buneri. But I can't like lick a tongue. I don't even like it for wrong reasons. I just think he's cute. I'm a fan. Kina is mood because Kina just wants to eat and same here. Yo. Elbow please. Just him? Do you like his evolution? Yes, I do like his evolution. He's very cute. I'll support you. Lick a tongue is great. Thank you. I think there was like a, there was like a, an N64, one of the stadium games, uh, and you, you're like at a sushi, uh, like a conveyor belt sushi place, and you play as Lickitung, and you gotta like grab all the sushi. I love that game. I have never met anyone who had anything positive to say about Lickitung. Why? What did Lickitung do? Just always kind of felt like filler. What do you mean? Hey, yo, horrible crying noises. What do you mean? I'm upset. I'm upset. I'm a lick a tongue fan. Thank you. Jill gets me. I feel like a special connection to Jill. Jill is an Edelgard stan. Jill likes a lot of the same games as me. Jill likes lick a tongue. Didn't Team Rocket have a Lickitung get replaced by Wobbuffet? I believe they did. And Wobbuffet is good. I like Wobbuffet. Oh. I'm the fool. 
cool. We're buds now. We are. Thank you for the head pats. Yeah, let's get these guys up in here. You literally said lick a tongue, overtaker. <laughs> oh, this is Suki Kinga is reading with a party of three readers. Hello, welcome, welcome. What were you guys playing? Hello, I am doing tower defense, hot girl shit in Final Fantasy VII right now. How's it going? Raiders, opinion on Lickitung. Yeah, we're talking about Lickitung right now. I like Lickitung. I stand Lickitung. I think Lickitung is cute. I think the evolution for Lickitung is also cute. And I think he's underappreciated. And I think people hate Lickitung for all the wrong reasons. And Lickitung does not deserve how he gets treated by the fanbase at large. It's wrong. Lickitung is good. Thank you. We were doing League of Legends, which is both fun and painful. Ooh. I've never I've never played League. Let's see, let's do Defender. When I say I've heard nothing positive, I also mean I have heard nothing negative. Well, when you say you never heard anything positive, it makes me think all you hear is negative. <laughs> I've never heard anyone talk about Lickitung, why? Why wouldn't people talk about Lickitung? There, there's so much to say. He, he's show-stopping, brave, beautiful, kind. He eats sushi. He loves sushi. Like, what else do you want in a Pokemon? But Lickitung. I have an affection for all of the Gen 1 Kaiju moms. Yes. They're so cute. I can't believe people don't care about Lickitung. I feel like that should be considered a crime in certain states, which my state being one of them, I think it should be illegal in the state of California. I need you to understand, Elio. Lickitung is a mono normal mon in a gen with Snorlax and Tauros. We'll get them out. Get them out of there. We need, we need lick a tongue. Lick a tongue stands. Maybe, maybe we'll get rid of the big, the big Snorlax plushies. So we can have, all right, let's just, too much is happening. Kill. Destroy. But Snorlax, Snorlax is cute. I do love Snorlax. I always wanted that big, like, life-size replica of Snorlax. Have you guys seen that? The the little, the little plushie? Or not even little, it's, it's huge. It's a huge bear. I also just realized I, I didn't really introduce myself from the raid. I was too focused on Lickitung, but Hi, uh, to anyone that stuck around after the, the Lickitung, uh, <laughs> rant. Hello, I am Elio Lappi. I am a, a bunny from outer space, and I like playing JRPGs, and while I play JRPGs, I like talking about cursed knowledge. Instead of playing it like a normal person, I, I go off on, like, random tangents about, like, American girls' court settlements and stuff instead of being normal so i hope you enjoy that that brand of insanity gen 1 is a game where normal types are the best they ever were including stab hyper beam that does not recharge if it kills and lickitung ends up not being good it's telling i think you're wrong i think you're wrong Something about that sentence is wrong to me on a personal level. And you will pay for it. No, 
long ago. I didn't mean to get another shooter. <laughs> Fuck. Go over here. Get out of here. Move. I need, I need more men. But objectively, Elio, his stats, who cares about stats? You're talking to the person whose favorite Pokemon is Plessel and Minin. You think I care about stats? I had to argue with someone about Gen 1 Butterfree recently too. Time for Licky Licky to evolve. Yeah, let's let's get let's get that new gen. Uh, gen, gen what what are we at? Gen 9 now? Let's I, I bet you Nintendo's already working on a Gen 10 so they can push it out for the holiday season. Just, just make a new evolution for Licky Licky. I I don't care. Just do it. What are you, a coward? Not gonna give Licky Licky what he deserves. Do it. I'm looking at every number and measurable thing and he does not seem good. But he's cute. His cute stat is high. And don't you start, start pulling out the, the freaking contest stat bullshit. I cannot argue with that. Yeah, he's cute and that's all that matters. All you need in life is cuteness. That's how I've made it this far in my life. I don't think I would survive if I wasn't cute. I feel like I would piss people off too much. If I wasn't cute. Now fuck contests, who cares, LMAO. That's why I said, you guys talk in Pokemon, yeah. Gen 2 love lately gives me life. Evolving Quillfish was so cathartic. Yo, I love Quillfish, that little dude. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, um. Okay, we got a bunch of birdos up in here. Okay, you guys are good. I'm biased towards big, fucked up, cool looking Pokemon. Like Gyarados. Gyarados is nice. But these big, chunky boys on their way to fuck you up. Kill. And every time he appears in, and every game he appears in, I've got him on my team. Yeah, they need to do more like, like, Storylines in Pokemon that feature like a shiny. Like they have so many good shiny designs that they could make like a, a storyline out of. Well, that was good, but soon his troops will be back. Be sure and scout the area well. We don't know when they'll attack again. And yeah, thank you for the money. Super Ball? It's gonna turn me into Goku? I do have the hair for it. Ah, it's a Yuki weapon. How you feel about Waylord? I'm not sure how to describe my feelings for Waylord. I think he's cute. I think he is very cute. I especially like playing Pokemon, uh, what was the one Wii game? That was like Stadium, but for Gen 4. I remember loving Waylord in that game. Also, I hate the Wheelord memes. I can't appreciate Wheelord anymore without thinking of the Wheelord meme. So I can say that Elio is super fun to watch and entertaining and it won't get to his head, nice. <laughs> that will get to Elio's head. I ship Wheelord with skitties. Shut up, shut up. I think it's Yuffie's goofy joke weapon. Yeah, Re Revolution, yeah, Battle Revolution. I liked that game. 
Okay, can we talk for a moment? A lot of people, a lot of people sleep on certain Pokemon games. Like, I know everyone loves Mystery Dungeon. I love Mystery Dungeon too. Mystery Dungeon is great. I love Mystery Dungeon. Why don't people talk about Pikachu Channel, Pokemon TV, Poke Park? Where, where's the stands for those games? I'm a stand for those games. Where's the conversation? Where is my new comfy Pokemon channel video game on the Switch? Where's my Pokemon Rangers? Where is my Pokemon Coliseum? Give me, give me the sequel to XD Gale of Darkness. Give me, oh my God, a Song of Light right now. What do you mean? Let me in. Yeah, here you go. Really, Elliot, that's where you draw the line? <laughs> I love pea size Roselian costume. Yeah, I love how they did the sizing in the Coliseum games. It was so fun. I love when the Pokemon games actually like do accurate sizing for the Pokemon. It's so funny. A lot of deviant shit that's being said all the time. You draw the line at where we Yes. I miss Rangers. Rangers was so fun. I loved Rangers. I think I had, I think I had, was it, was it Shadows of Almia? I think I had that one. I think I still have it. I really liked that. I loved when Pokemon would, would be like really experimental in like the DS era. Like we got that, we got, we got the, the Musou crossover RPG strategy game. <laughs> I forgot what it was called. Yeah, Rangers is a good series. We need a new Rangers game. Yeah, Pokemon, Ch I liked Pokemon Channel. Pokemon Company has really slept on spin-off games the like last two or three generations. Yeah, listen. Yes, Pokemon Channel is boring. But you know who likes boring stuff? Me, I like boring stuff. I don't know, it's nice and comfy. It's nice and comfy. Okay, like maybe, maybe they won't make Switch games a Pokemon channel anymore. But they could still make app games, comfy app games. I don't know. We can get like the Fate Stay Night cooking game with Emya, but I can't get watching a TV with Pichu. Fucked up, fucked up. More Pokemon media for teens would be nice. Yes. Oh, that's way worse. I agree with what... Fuck the degenerates who started with the Reborian shit. <laughs> Thanks, Elio. I'm glad you like me. <laughs> Pokemon Company needs less mobile games and more real spin-offs. They need to revive so many series. I swear to God, I'm glad we got Pokemon Snap. I'm so glad we got Pokemon Snap. I want a new Coliseum game so bad. Or like a stadium game. Just a stadium game. I don't know. I miss the stadium games. I missed how it's just about battles and then you got like fun little mini games that you can play. It's so good. Pokemon has been weird because of one bookshelf in the main series. Listen, Pokemon people, I stopped at Gen 4 and fucked off until PLA and SCBI. You're not going to get what you want. They literally cannot give it to you with their dev schedule. Pokemon doesn't need to do anything. Pokemon's team is so small. It's so small. It, it's insane to me with how much money they make. Like, I think Monolith Studios that does uh, a Xenoblade has more, like, double the amount of people on their team than Pokemon Company does. I would not mind another Pokemon tag game. Yeah, I, I still need to play that. I remember I played the demo for it and I really liked it, but I never bought it. But I felt like the character customization stuff was really cool and I liked the feeling of like the battles. But nice and fluid. And I liked the, the graphic style that they used for it too. Shadow Pokemon and PokeGo were so tantalizing. I see things in Scarlet and Violet that tells me they care, but they cannot do it with their release schedule. Yeah, I... It really feels like 
the the higher ups just like need to be knocked down a peg. I wish there was even more pushback for Scarlet and Violet. Like it's insane to me that like you can go to all these towns and like you can't enter shit. You see like all of these buildings that you just can't enter. Like it's an open world, but I can't enter someone's home and, and steal their vases. I came back at the perfect time. Gale of Darkness was the best. I love Gale of Darkness. It's so fun. They can continue to sell like one game for the price of four. Girl, yeah, I hate it. I hate it. A part of me wants their games to do bad so they realize it, but at the same time, these companies are like, oh, well, if they do bad, then like, <laughs> we better stop doing those games. Just give Pokemon to Arc Systems again. I <laughs> also love Legends of Arceus. I hope they do more of those. I never played Arceus, but I haven't I haven't bought like the recent Pokemon games. Cause I have not had the money to. But Legends of Arceus looks so fun. I loved seeing like K play it. I saw K uh, playing it when it came out. And like I love like the customization. I love the world building for it and how like like capturing Pokemon, you like research them and stuff. And like how the people in the world were like genuinely terrified of Pokemon. And how you could get hurt. Screenix cancels another gotcha in the distance. <laughs> Pokemon has too many dedicated fans, yeah. They, they release the, the turdiest of turds and it'll make like five million in the first week. I just want to experience the first Pokemon movie like the first time getting, yes! I love the first movie. Okay. Opinions on the movie 2000, because that was my favorite Pokemon movie. It was either that or the Entei movie. Those were like my favorite ones. There's just something about like the first couple gen of Pokemon movies that's really special to me. Also things they added in PLA that were cool didn't fucking make it to SCVI, so why get invested? Yeah. Oh, can't reach, whoops. You Thundercross split attacked me, you asshole. How dare you, Linux! The best Pokemon meme, Linux. No, it was not! My opinion is, I was like eight. I love Destiny Deoxys, but I just loved Hoenn. Yeah, Destiny, Destiny Deoxys was good too. Anime party of a Pokemon movie. I should. I remember I watched, um, Jirachi Witchmaker with Yume. Was it last year? I remember I was like feeling really depressed and then we were thinking about what to do together. And then, I, I don't know, it turned into, I wanna watch the Pokemon movies I haven't watched. And so we watched Jirachi Wishmaker together. The anime adaptation of the manga is one of my, I love Pokemon adventures. That, that was one of the things that always made me down about the mainline anime was like that Ash was always the main character. Like, I love Ash, don't get me wrong, when I was a kid I had a crush on Ash. But I also had like a crush on anyone in anime at that time. So like, my taste was bad. Uh, but, uh, anyway. I was so sad that like, a new gen of Pokemon would come and Ash would continue to be the main character. And that none of the other protagonists would become like, main characters in a game like i remember i was so sad i was so sad when black and white got an anime and like ash's design was hilbert's clothes and i was like no no now hilbert can't even appear in the anime because you took his clothes i love pokemon adventures i love the shit that they do in that manga like like the pokemon black and white 2 storyline you would not see that in the anime. 
I forgot how little happens in Jirachi Wish Maker. I liked it. I enjoyed it. It was funny. I, I liked <laughs> I liked the one wish that what's his name made about May going away. <laughs> Jirachi just <laughs> God, that was so funny. Pokemon Horizon is a bit more anime than Ash's Adventures, at least. Mm -hmm. I remember what was it, Pokemon Chronicles or whatever, like featured the the characters of the games, which was nice. I enjoyed that. And like uh, the the series of YouTube shorts that they did of like the characters from the games is really good. The shorts were so good. I cried. I cried when I saw the N1. I was on call with Yume when that came out and we watched it together and I, I started screaming. Sub movie, I agree, the best. I thought it was weird that Ash stayed after Gen 1. Yeah, he just like kept not winning the, the Pokemon League, which got really old after a while. I think I, I like, I stopped around Sinnoh for the Pokemon anime and I came back for a bit for, for, for Pokemon Black and White because I heard N appeared in it and <laughs> you know me. I'm the world's number one N stand. And can I just say, with how I feel currently with the Pokemon state of things, I'm terrified that Unova is next. I'm honestly, frankly terrified that Unova is next for a remake generation. Because Unova had so much in it. It had so much in it. And I'm praying that they keep the amount of stuff that was in it. But at the same time, I'm like, Pokemon Company is going to skimp on some stuff in like Castelia City and shit. Right? Like, there was just so much stuff you could do in Black 1 and 2. Like, every town just had, was bursting with stuff like you you had like the people that would play songs in the towns you would have like the little themed like battle areas like the like the uh like the football and baseball and stuff and you had like the the daily like uh the daily ferris wheel battles that you could do it was so good it was so good and i'm terrified i'm terrified that if we got a remake it would skimp on some stuff You don't do him like that. He just kept losing. Entei, my beloved. Entei was so good. How is Ash even allowed to travel to the next region without winning a league? <laughs> he goes to other regions so no one knows Ash is a failure. <laughs> what is this Ash slander in chat? Okay, but you know what? Sad right crew. Man, Raikou kind of got gypped in terms of, like, representation compared to, like, Suicune and Entei. Yeah, Suicune got to be the cover legendary. Entei got a movie. Suicune got more than just being a cover legendary. Suicune got so much. Entei didn't get... Like, even when we got, like, the... the <laughs> we even got, like, the, that new Suicune lookalike Pokemon <laughs> in, in Scarlet and Violet. You're the worst one, though. That's because they, they never gave him a chance. They never gave him a chance to pop off. Even the whole old got cameos, at least. Yeah. Okay. You guys complain about, uh... Like, uh, Raikou all you want. At least Raikou isn't the weather trio. Now, I know, I know I am the world's biggest black and white stan. I did not care for the weather trio. Who exactly? Exactly. I felt like Moltres still felt flat. I mean, the Pokemon 2000 movie like featured all of the, the legendaries pretty well, I think. Okay, but Elliot, at least it's the trio as a whole. It's not like one member of the trio. That's true. But that just makes it kind of a little sadder. Uh, 
I can't have to feel about the new Pokemon anime. Like, they're not even trying to use game characters now, and I decay. Oh, that's a shame. I haven't watched the new anime. It, it's just all original characters now. Yikes. Yikes. Other than the dog with a sword and the dog with a cone. I love doggy. Okay, I, I kind of like the doggies. Pokemon Company, Suicune, and Teiraiko. <laughs> okay, I do like the doggo. Okay, okay. I, I think the shield doggo kind of sucks. But I love the sword doggo. Sword doggo is good. Oh shit, my phone just died. I can't read chat. Uh oh. Let me see. I didn't realize my phone wasn't charging. I got I got so I got so into the Pokemon discussion. <laughs> Sword Doggo is good, yeah, because he has like 730 BST and a free 1.5 attack for existing. I do not care about Pokemon stats. I have never cared about Pokemon stats. I have used the world's worst teams in my playthroughs. And that's just because I think they look neat. I hate Sword and Shield mainly because Hop wouldn't leave me alone. I tried playing Sword and Shield. I like B. 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 I just can't get into it. Look like it from the clips I've seen anyway. I kind of get where they're coming from so they don't keep making comparisons, but eh. Okay, God. Yeah, my phone is like out of commission. I can't read chat. Each one of the three beasts have been my favorite at one point. A team of six magic carps with just one splash. No. <laughs> no. Not that bad. But I, I would use like Plusle and Minin, and everyone's like Plusle and Minin stats suck. That's why they never get featured in the new Pokemon games, I Leo, and I'm like, I don't care. I think they're cute. So I went completely the wrong way, and I just now realized it. I got too distracted by Pokemon. Oh, death. And y'all stop! These? Who is this? I just summoned Sans Undertale? Yeah. Sans in a very comfy hoodie. It's like his, oh, what was that one Undertale a year that everyone drew where, where Sans was red? Ah, it should have been me, not him! It's, <laughs> it's not, not fair! fair. <laughs> Let me see. Sans is blue. Yeah, under swap, under swap. I feel like Hop, he felt like a good balance of friend and rival, though yeah, I would appreciate him trying to jump me so often. I I liked, uh, what was the one rival from Sun and Moon? I felt like he was a weaker version of that character because I loved, what was his name, Howth? I loved Howth. Sun and Moon was great. Plus on mine and have been in like five Pokemon games. It's not enough. You wanna know who like actually died? Zeep Striker. I love Zeep Striker! Zeep Striker has been in nothing except his debut. He's so cool though! Under swap or under fell? You under fell for it, fool. Thunder cross split attack. How? Yeah, how? I liked how. I guess briefly in Gen 6, Zeep Strike is Gen 5 and XY and Oras. Five games when they were introduced in Gen 3 is good. Listen, I like Zeep Striker. Zeep Strike is cool. He's like a little Zebra dude and he strikes you with electricity. Good, good. Okay, like I know, I know a lot of people talk shit on the designs, but I actually really like the, the vanilla-ish line. I don't know, I think they're cute. I always like like the, the little food Pokemons. 
I don't like when the anime points out that they eat food that looks just like them. But I do like their designs. They're cute. I also like the Punkaboos. Is that their names? Punkaboo? I forgot what gen they were. I think they were X and Y. I think. But yeah, those guys are cute. It feels so lonely without my phone. Cause like I can read chat, but I have to like tab out to read chat, you know? It's like, I feel like there's no one with me now. I feel like I'm all alone. Like, like no one likes me anymore. I don't hear anyone. All by myself. Does chat, does chat even like me? I just, I just heard the sound of me getting bopped, so. It, no, I, I guess no one likes me. <laughs> no. The moment I leave, they just, this is like hitting me. <laughs> Elliot's phone charging so slowly he won't see we love him. <laughs> Feel like I'm all alone. I like you, thank you. <laughs> I see you guys are doing the sound redeems now, because I can hear those. Oh. I miss chat. I miss when chat would call me stinky. And they would call me elbow. I miss when Am they were. Am I the bad one here? Am I yeah. a degenerate? When they would call me a degenerate. I remember. I remember when they did that. I used to hate it. I used to hate being called a degenerate. But now that they're no longer here with me. So good, these nuts. And I remember when they would do suck on these nuts jokes to me too. I would hate it. They would do they would do thunder cross foot attack on me. I would lose it. I would lose it. But now that I can't see any thunder cross foot attack, I miss it. I miss it. <laughs> Finishing touch? What's that? <laughs> I'm assuming? Okay, that's not her. It's not what him. A dirty adult you are. <laughs> okay, it's a it's a cloud one. <laughs> yeah, wait a minute, I don't know my phone gonna charge. Jesus Christ. This is the way out, right? Yeah, that's the exit. I totally, I totally know my way around. I used to, I used to have to, <laughs> I used to have to rely on chat to tell me where to go. Now I gotta find it all out. I'll find it out all my own. I'll find out how to I'll kill Alice all on my own. I don't know if you see people asking what my alien isolation playthrough is. Where's that goddamn town? Let's see, if I could read chat, they'd be telling me it's right around. The mountain, Elio. It's right there. Okay. <laughs> All right. I think. I think I will end here. Oh my god! <laughs> Thank you for the sub. Oh my god! Elio.
won't see this, but it's been almost a year of fun silliness. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, take your wow. Jesus Christ, 11 months. That's crazy. <laughs> Thank you. Elio sees this message immediately. I'll get a maiden one day. <laughs> Where's Elio? I can't see him. No, chat can't see me. I can't see chat and chat can't see me. <laughs> Thanks for the stream. Thank you for the stream. No problem. I will see you guys tomorrow. Same time. Same place. Same, uh... Adult conspiracy theory rabbit hole. Oh, we won't meet the new party, man. Well, it'll be a good way to start next stream, at least. I just... I get I get lonely not being able to see chat, and my phone is, like, charging at a snail's pace, so I guess I'll end here. But yes. Uh, I'll be doing... What am I doing tomorrow? Did I do, did I do Umi Neko two days ago, or did I do Arla two days ago? Let me see. Okay, I think it's, I think it's our life tomorrow. Yeah, so I'll be doing some Pocket Mirror and some Our Life tomorrow. So I will see you guys then. I'm gonna play Battle Shop tomorrow or today if I want. Yeah. Maybe tomorrow. I got I got some plans in a bit. I'm gonna cook chicken. Yeah. This year we lose our dear streamer, Elio. Elio. <laughs> By telling everyone I'm offline. Sometimes I still hear his voice. I mean I could two days ago I think, but it was one hour. Okay, yeah. Uh our life. Yeah, our life. We'll do our life. I actually already ate. I actually already ate. Are you proud of me? I ate today. I went shopping. I got groceries. I had myself an Italian sandwich. Very good. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I already ate. I already ate. Okay, yeah. Let's see. Ooh, to raid today. Oh my god, everyone that is streaming right now. <laughs> It's streaming by <laughs> Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> That's like all my following list is playing right now. Is just Tears of the Kingdom. Okay, well, we'll straight Ultra Art. I was actually talking about them earlier. They were the person that I watched play that one game whose name I couldn't remember off the top of my head. So, uh, as an apology for not remembering their name, uh, <laughs> we'll go raid them. They're playing Tears of the Kingdom though, so. Uh, be careful if you're trying to avoid Tears of the Kingdom stuff. Uh, give them some nice compliments and all that. Be, be very kind soul in their streams. Uh, I still need to fix my raid message and all that. So uh, I'll try and fix that tonight, hopefully, if I don't forget. Uh, but yeah, uh, we'll be raiding Ultra Arts here now. So I'll see you guys later. And bye bye <laughs>